Hey there guys, so today we're going to be building this slide jimmy. Make sure you check out the description below, which has a list of all the tools, materials, alternative elements which could be used to swap out for this piece, as well as any other elements which could connect to it in some way. So we've dug out our hole for this slide jimmy and we've got quite a long hole that we've dug here because you need a lot of space for that angle going into the ground. These are really simple techniques that you're using for a metal worker, just cutting the pipe to size and then welding it all together. We want to have these two pipes uh, running parallel to each other. Do some tack welds on there before everything gets welded up properly. But the most important thing about this piece is to have a really strong weld, especially at that right angle where the top pipe is connecting. We've got a couple of little anchor pieces as well that we've welded onto the metal and they just hold the whole thing in place much more firmly. If you've just got straight metal going into the ground, it's going to hold but it will be much stronger if you put a little anchor piece on there to hold the whole thing in really tight. On top of that, we've actually gone a little bit larger than we needed with the hole, making a little bit of a wall using some bricks to hold the cement in place just so we have enough to hold the whole thing together. And then we're going to cement these ones into the ground. So when you're priming these uh, pieces, especially ones that are going into the ground, you want to make sure that you go right down to where the concrete is starting. Best to do this before you fill in the earth. We're going to just dig this out a little bit till we get down to the cement and then start painting and then continue painting with the red oxide the whole way. So we've given our primer coat out to this slide here and then we've done a first coat of paint over the top of that. In between those coats you want to get a bit of sandpaper, use about uh, 240 uh, grit paper on that one, sand it back in between coats and then redo it and this will mean that the paint job will last a lot longer and it will also mean that it smooths itself out and make for a much cleaner ride as you're sliding down. Fluff it up because this one's going to get a lot of uh, sliding going on it. Over time this will buff up really well anyway, you may need to redo the paint job after a while it's up to you. So this design, as well as all of our designs, are made to be used in conjunction with the free safety handbook, which is available from the website. It's just down there. Hey, what did you think of the video? Please let us know down below in the comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more of what Patrick's doing in India. You can go and visit playgroundideas.org which has 150 designs and all the resources that you need to build an awesome playground. And lastly, we've got a ton more videos to watch so check them out here.